Gemini 1 was launched on April 8, 1964 at 4.01 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 19 at Cape Canaveral. It was the first launch of the Gemini program, which built on the Mercury program and tested important technologies and techniques that would be essential to the Apollo program's attempt at a lunar landing. This was the first ever use of a Titan II missile as an orbital launch system, with it being specifically adapted for the Gemini program. Its payload was a simplified Gemini spacecraft built without many internal systems, which were instead replaced by mass simulators. The spacecraft was permanently attached to the second stage of the Titan II for this test. It did have a heat shield, but on the off chance that the spacecraft broke free of the Titan second stage during re-entry, four holes were drilled into that heat shield to ensure the pod's demise. With the long history of Atlas development, NASA had every reason to believe that the relatively new Titan II, having its first launch as a ballistic missile in 1962, would have issues as an orbital launch vehicle. At first, the Air Force, which was in charge of Titan, was slow to make the changes NASA wanted to man-rate the launcher. Eventually, and after much argument though, the Air Force started to take an interest in the military applications of Gemini, and decided to work with NASA on it. The result was that, against all odds, Gemini 1 was a complete success, with only the minor surprise that the spacecraft had reached an apoapsis of 320 kilometers instead of 299 kilometers. In total, 12 Atlas IIs were slated for use in the Gemini program, and all 12 were successful. That record led to the rocket's resurgence as a launcher far beyond the end of its time as an ICBM, taking the form of the Titan 23G. The Air Force was also quick to add an additional third stage, the Trans Stage, to the Titan II to create the Titan III, which would have its first launch only five months after this one. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Gemini 1.